hello and howdy ho to all of you, friends, family, fans, and Finish Line Focused, fantastically fine, fabulous, and <laughs> freakazoidal folks. <laughs> uh, oh, somebody said, one of you, one of you viewers said, uh, you could even say French uh, folks, because we're right by Quebec. Canada. In fact, we just went by a sign that was like 60 miles to the Canadian border. We're further now than we were in Stratton. Stratton was only like 30 some miles from the Canadian border. Uh, so any which way, as you can see, I'm not on the trail yet. I am riding in Mother Reed's Tahoe uh, this morning with Halo at the helm. <laughs> She's driving along and she said, don't get me. She had to get up. Well, she wakes up early anyway, but she had to get out of bed and get moving very early and so she's not uh, all done up and everything so I won't uh, won't film her much but we're paralleling the Kennebec River it's pretty foggy this morning so you can't see much but boy the trees are really popping the river's pretty there's fog and and steam and mist going along so it's really a nice uh, nice drive through here so stayed at the uh, camper the last two nights. I did the big day on Thursday getting in. Halo got across the river and Halo and, and the family picked me up. I got to go back and spend the night there. I, got base, I zeroed yesterday, got all resupplied and ready for the 100 mile wilderness. My food bag weighs a thousand pounds, but believe it or not, the absolute arc angel, arc trail angel, um, Iceman is coming up and he's going to uh, resupply us a little bit in the wilderness at least the first two days. He has to leave on Thursday or whatever, so he's not going to be here too long, but he's going to be able to help us a little bit, which is super amazing. Uh, he, he and his wife, Barb, are, are truly ast astounding. Anyway, um, let's see. So the plan for me today is to do uh, about 15 miles or so to a shelter. No idea the name of it. <laughs> it's the one that's 15 miles from Caraton. 15 or 16. Anyway, then another day similar to that, and then I'll have like seven or six or five or six miles to get into Monson, which is where Shaw's uh, hostel is. And then uh, meet the family there. Halo will stay with me Monday night at Shaw's and Tuesday morning. Boom. We're blowing up the 100 mile wilderness. We're going to set that baby on fire. <laughs> me and Halo. We're going to tear it up. So, There'll be no fires with me uh, there. <laughs> so that's the plan. So I'm going to try to do roughly 15, 16, two days in a Nero into Monson. Uh, stay at Shaw's, have one of their, they're supposed to be the best $15 breakfast on the trail. Uh, big pancakes and lots of good food. So I'm looking forward to seeing Shaw's. It's kind of a famous hostel up here. Maine has quit trying to absolutely kill hikers. Now it's just trying to like wound us a little bit, which is nice. Um, and so it really enjoy in Maine. And Maine is beautiful. This river is gorgeous. The trees are really getting popping. So looking forward to seeing what today brings. So stay tuned and we'll see what happens. All right, there's the halo getting ready to back out. And, oh, she is backing out. Uh, that truck was there the other day when I got here. That big van is a section hiker going southbound. He's finishing up. Uh, he's got like four, four or 500 miles left on the trail. So it is now 8.11. So 10 minutes after, after 8, and I am headed out. I've got a liter and a half of water. I've got my camp shoes, believe it or not. Haven't had my camp shoes on my pack since um, Fontana Village, or well before the, the Smoky Mountains. I, I took them off and never got them back. <laughs> but there's no less than two rivers to ford, and I guess they're big, like, you know, over knee-deep rivers um, to ford. So, there's one of them rascally blazes. We're headed for, um, it's not actually mentioned on there. It's like, oh, I can't remember the name of the shelter. This one, Moxie Bald Mountain. There's a lean-to right after that that would be really good. But we'll have to see. I'm getting... About an hour late 
um, start versus normal. And so we'll see how the terrain is. Looks like we got to climb a long ways to get up out of this um, river valley, the Kennebec River Valley. I think we're at like five or six hundred feet of elevation, which is crazy low. Uh, we got to go clear up, I think in the 3200 range or something, so got some climbing to do. Looking forward to it. She's winding down. Hey, my buddy, uh, Dean, Dean Machine, those of you that have been following along know and remember Dean. Uh, Dean summited Mount Katahdin yesterday. Pictures on his Facebook page. So how cool. Hook and Swiss Miss summited a couple of days ago. Uh, Peregrine summited, boy, like a month ago. <laughs> um, you know, Jenny and Kelly, Lipstick and Hills, they summited, you know, a couple days ago. So everybody's finishing. The Three Musketeers are supposed to be starting here today. They were at the bed and breakfast in Kiratunk. And so, oh, and so, uh, I, hopefully I'll get to see them on the trail here soon. They'll probably start a little behind me, but they'll also catch me. Because they're fast. So, should, should see GQ, PR, and Aspirations soon, I'm guessing. I told them to bring me a milkshake. We'll see if they do. <laughs> the bed and breakfast supposedly has really good milkshakes. <clears throat> Made it up to Pleasant Pond Mountain. Only like 2,400 feet, but started at 500 feet, so... <laughs> Ah, uh, Moxie Baldling to, well, that's the next one, nine point, yeah, nine point two. That's the uh, farther one, I think. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I think that's the further one. That's the one that I was contemplating in the back of my mind doing um, if I felt good. So anyway, this is the top of... Uh, Pleasant Pond Mountain, another one of these, you know, we're not above tree lines, so, but the trees are definitely small. Decoratable for Christmas time. Boy, it is hot today. Doggone, it's warm. Man, I have sweat just running down me. Uh, and my right ankle slash lower leg is hurting. I'm pretty much resigned to the fact that it's going to hurt me until I'm done. So... Just gonna have to live with it. I've got my little ankle brace thing and brand new compression sleeves, um, and she's hurting bad. But the trail's been pretty good, making decent time, feeling all right. I remember way back somebody saying, one of you guys saying that one of your favorite things was when a hiker did like the selfie 360 pan <laughs> deal. So I am. Doing that for you, top of Pleasant Pond Mountain. Actually, I'm just below the summit, but this is probably the best view. So this is what the Appalachian Trail looks like here in Maine. Had a good old climb this morning uh, getting up here, but I'm glad to have it, have it done. That's one more uh, mountain that's, that's behind me. Again, they're getting getting to be fairly scarce you can look at the guide and I should do that tonight I think I said that before but uh, I should count off the mountains uh, and see there aren't there aren't that many left so woohoo one more down on my way to the big one the big Katahdin all right I got to figure out how to step around this boy that ankle thing is really limiting I call it my ankle it's not really my ankle but it's like inside where my leg and my ankle meet together. That's kind of what it is. But anyway, band that limits where I can step and how I step. I just don't want to put much pressure on it. Um, whoa! Yeah. <laughs> All, right. All right, let me put the phone away so I don't die on the last one of the last mountains. <laughs> uh, trip and fall. Boy, these rocks would tear you up. They are like 
sticky to walk on, but man, they're, I don't know, they're black and they're, yeah, they wouldn't be good on your skin. Hmm. I just flushed three roughed grouse. That was four. Huh. I, earlier today, I didn't mention it in the videos yet, but I flushed, I don't know how many grouse, maybe four. Um, in fact, one <laughs> that I flushed flew really close to a southbound hiker. Oh, as he kind of flew down the trail or whatever. Pretty cool. But here they were just kind of in the in the trail and one or two was off in the trees. But you can usually hear them running through the brush right before they they fly. It's pretty cool. And then the thunder of their wings is is loud. It's pretty neat. So it is a quarter after one. I'm point seven to a couple of brooks and I am ready to get there because I'm thirsty. I'm saving my water what water I have left, which is probably half a liter or or so, um, three quarters of a liter almost. I'm just kind of being stingy with it because I don't want to run out. But that one creek I crossed um, way back, anyway, that was the last water for like six miles or whatever. And so no real big deal. Just it's so hot today. Uh, I'm thirstier than I normally would be, but I drank a big old Powerade on the way to the trail today, so I'm sure that's helped me a bunch. And I started out with a liter and a half of water. I drank a little bit. One of the creeks I crossed, I just filled up my little, my new, my new B3, Catadine B3. I didn't realize it though. I didn't even think about checking it out when we ordered it, but it's a smaller water bag than my other one. My other one was one liter. I'm going to guess this one's either a half liter or possibly like 0.7. I don't know what it is, but it's quite a bit smaller uh, than my other one, which is no real big deal. Because um, I've got my 2 liter ever new bag that I can fill for like volumes of water. And that can just filter it, so it's no biggie. Um, but I liked the 1 liter because it was nice to know, like, hey, I drank a liter. You know, this one I'll have to look at it and see what size it is. Kind of keep track of my water water intake, but anyway, um, was 0.7 from a couple of brooks, and uh, I'm going to stop there and drink up a bunch of water and take a little break real quick. My, my ankle slash lower leg is just killing me, and I'm not ready for any more pills yet, which is unfortunate that I even have to take them like that, but dang, I mean, it, it's just every step, it's all I can think about. It's so, so painful. Um, it's not excruciating, it's just, ow, until I kind of roll it. Ouch, that hurt. Uh, it's not excruciating, it's just there, every stupid step. So, that makes a super nice trail today. Um, you know, not as cool <laughs> as it would be, because uh, I'm just having a lot more trouble getting along. So, I don't know if I'm going to stop at this first shelter or if I'm going to try to push on to get to the second one. I don't know. I'll probably stop at the first one and look look at the guidebook and see if I did push on, What if I could make it to Monson tomorrow or if it would be hard and I'd have to lay up somewhere anyway then I might as well lay up. You know, it doesn't matter that much. So, anyway. That's my thoughts. Fairly steep. The trail today has been pretty, like... It's it's not it's real short and steep, kind of like rugged all the time. Um, it's lots of dirt, but lots of roots and rocks, and then these little granite tops and stuff. Uh, these little hills. It's it's different. Um, still good trail all in all, for sure. Had to do that one pretty big climb, and looks like after the shelter, the first shelter or lean to after the first lean to this, there's another mountain to climb. Another one of Maine's gorgeous ponds. Uh, I'm on a road. Just came down the, the AT right there. And the AT goes this way. But I'm going to film. Oh. Here. You can step down here. Boy, the mosquitoes are. Oh, look at 
Look at that. Wow. My goodness. What is it about ponds with islands and oh, trees and mountains and colors that is just so breathtaking? Man, that's awesome. My babbling brook was just back about, I don't know, a couple few tents. And she was flowing decent. I got me some good water. Uh, sat and drank, I don't know, a, a little bit. A liter probably. I chugged some. I made up an afternoon yummy drink. I, uh, which is my, my, um, rehydrate and a propel to give me like three quarters of a liter of delicious berry goodness and I believe it's healthy it's got some stuff in there that you need oh gorgeous anyway um, yeah I had some crackers had a like a little kind bar and feeling pretty oh had a couple of ibuprofen oh, there's a dock All right, we got to go down on the dock. Uh, 0. .00001 side trail to a little dock. Ouch. Oh, it's got a ladder we could go swimming. Where, oh, where is my canoe and fishing pole? Oh, where, oh, where could they be? If I had them, I would never get finished with this trail. I would just live here. <laughs> I need another can of bug spray. You guys gonna get that one for me? Right, I think I've got a Ford coming up. So I've got my camp shoes just in case. We'll see if we can rock hop it or not. I don't know. Well, here's the first of the uh, river fords. It looks like I should, Lord willing, be able to hop across there. So I'm going to attempt that right now, but I will not do it on camera. So I'll let you know on the other side how she goes. A couple vehicles drive by as I just hopped across that first one there woohoo all right glad that i don't have to stop and take off my shoes and put on camp shoes i was really debating just walking through the water not bringing the camp shoes but that's all right here comes another vehicle on the road i was just on um ankle lower leg is feeling better this afternoon. So thank you, Lord. That was much appreciated. All right, not sure. I think, oh, I got 3.3, .3, so probably 3.1 or three miles or so to go to that first shelter, which is, I think it's called Moxie bald um, like stream lean to and the next one that's four miles further is like moxie bald pond lean to <laughs> so any which way i think i got three miles to go to the first one we'll see how that goes should take an hour hour and a half it's 2 30 so 3 34 should be there in the neighborhood of four o'clock ish depending on how things go so we'll see well got to the first shelter i'm gonna say it's uh, i can't remember the name of it something like bald it's it's stream um anyway got there at 3 30. bang 3 30. And so I can't stop at 3.30. So I said to heck with it. And I am rolling. Rolling on. I am pounding down the trail. The cheetah 
within me has come out and now I'm leaping and and flying down the trail the the lynx that lies within has been let out and now I'm pounding along with 4.1 miles to go to the next shelter not sure whatever the first one is it's the same thing except for this one's pond and the first one's stream something moxie bald stream moxie bald pond I don't know there's too many of them I can't remember it doesn't matter point is we blew that thing clear off its foundation as we blew by there and we're headed up the trail so feeling uh, much better feeling pretty good I stopped and got a Gatorade bar out of my pack and Lord have mercy if you want the inner cheetah to come out of you grab you one of them Gatorade bars and by the way they have nothing to do with like a fruit flavored electrolyte they are a chocolatey you know delicious candy bar protein bar type you know type meal and they are some kind of good today's Gatorade bar was chocolate pretzel one of my fave so you can see what the trail is like um, I do have a mountain to climb whatever this mountain moxie bald I have no idea something big mountain whatever it is I gotta climb it climb it go over it go down it and then I get to the shelter so um, I do have one one big mountain uh, to go but that's no hill for a climber no problem although man it's warm dang it's warm I'm glad it's not freezing but boy somewhere in between would be nice hikers can't be choosers Check out this spot. First of all, it's air conditioned, and I will take that. Here's another, another one. I just walked through that tunnel <clears throat> right there. That big slab is sliding out and pushing that tree. Oh, what a cool spot, and literally cool, and figuratively cool, huh? Ouch. Huh. Uh, it's like rock architecture. Pretty neat. I wonder if you can go up both ways. Looks like you can go up there or this way. Now yeah, maybe the trail just goes this way. I'm going this way. Hate to leave that air conditioning though. It feels good. All right, sign back there said there's an alternate route around the summit, so I, I knew it would be rocky. Um, but it also said the lean-to I'm headed for, Moxie Bald Pond or something lean-to, is uh, was 2.4. So we're getting closer all the time. What a bummer, man. Climbing up this mountain, moxie bald, I guess it is. Very poorly marked. I did about eight circles. Gut hook showed I was like off the trail a little ways. And I was just barely off, but anyway, very poorly blazed. So it's been a bummer. And then this is a rocky <laughs> um, spot, but thankful for the cairns. Um, made it here I don't quite know which way to go from up here but maybe this sign will tell me so now it is five o'clock I don't know how far I am what do we got top of the mountain all right let me figure out which way to go Well, that climb up that mountain was perhaps the most confusing of the whole trail. Man, that was a nightmare up there. 
I did a couple of circles on the way up because I would I didn't see any blazes, so I checked gut hook, and gut hook shows that I'm off the trail, even though I did then, you know, like, backtrack and find blazes, and I was on the trail. Long story short, I got up on top, I found that summit, but there's no, no blazes. Well, the trail, like, goes up and then goes straight back the way you came or whatever. It was really weird. Um, and so, long story short, it took, took a while to find where the trail goes, um, but it like doubles back and goes the same way you go up to the summit or whatever, and there's these bypass trails around the summit, and there's a trail to the north summit, and there's a, it's super confusing, so just know that when you get up there, basically you turn around from the sign and go right back the way you just came, and you'll see the next set of cairns. It's way, you know, way off, to, so you're actually going south to get off the summit. Uh, super weird. Anyhow, I should be about a half mile or so from uh, tonight's camping spot, the lean-to uh, or shelter. So, shouldn't be too far. Boy, look at the colors. Those are just so pretty. Um, what time is it? Uh, it's ten minutes to six. So, all my messing around up there cost me at least a half hour. <laughs> I was doing great uh, time and everything until I started getting kind of lost and doubting everything. And so that is not a good feeling. Man, I hate that feeling. Not Being blind, I, I can't see cairns very far away. And so it's such a feeling of like helplessness or whatever and gut hook showing that I was way off trail. That didn't help. Um, but God, God is good. I believe that the Lord um, got me through. So thank you, Lord. And I'm hoping to get in here to camp and get set up, get my food soaking, get, uh, yeah, get into bed. I uh, hope I have a good night's sleep. And I'm at Bald Mountain Knob Creek Lean to whatever it is. There's a group here uh, maintaining trails. These are their their canoes, but check out that that lake. Check it out. Oh, there's even a loon crying on on key. Here's my tent. The shelter's right up through there, but there's people all around, so I'm not gonna run all over. Uh, filming, but I got my noodles soaking uh, for supper here and getting ready to, to eat and get in the tent. Bugs are starting to come out a little bit, Six six forty-five. so uh, life is good. I'm glad to be here and uh, look forward to seeing what tomorrow brings. I really appreciate those guys over there are through hikers. I'm not sure if there's Oh, there's one girl um, up and down is here too. Otherwise, I think it's all, there aren't any other few hikers here tonight, which is strange. So, anyway, all right, feeling okay um, for a long day. Life is good. Jesus is best. Thanks so much, guys. I really appreciate all your comments and for coming along with me on this journey. We'll see you all in the morning. Have a great rest of the day, and God bless each one of you.